If you'd like to make an audio CD or create an MP3 file of any recording on your computer, including YouTube or Amazon Music, then you've come to the right place. To get started, open Amazon Music or YouTube and find the music tracks you wish to copy. In this example, we'll be using Amazon Music. Next, open up Audacity. If you don't have it, go to www.audacityteam.org forward slash download or use the link below. It's an excellent audio editing program and is 100% free to use. To select the sound source, we'll need to go to edit, down to the preferences and then devices. So there's no loss of sound quality, you'll need to record the music internally, not using the microphone. On the recording option, if you have a microphone attached, you have to change this to the speakers you're using. In this case, we are using Real Tech High Definition Audio Loop Back. I find it easier to have the audacity and the Amazon Music programs open alongside each other. Firstly, in Audacity, press the red record button and then in Amazon Music, press the play button. You should now see the music now recording in Audacity. We will record the whole album in one recording. Then we'll split the album into separate named tracks that we'll then import into iTunes later. So we can then burn an audio CD, which we can play anywhere and will give excellent sound quality. Or if you prefer, you can make it into MP3 files instead and put it onto a USB stick. Once you've recorded the full album, press stop on Amazon and press the black square stop button on Audacity. To see the whole recording, you'll need to zoom out and using the minus zoom tool so you can see all the music tracks. You can also scroll left and right to the bottom of the screen. Now the first thing to do before we do anything else is press Ctrl B and a cursor will appear at the start of the recording prompting you to enter the name of track 1. Type in track name and press enter. To get to the gap between track 1 and 2, you might have to zoom in using the zoom tool with the plus symbol on it. Then click in the gap on the actual recording with the grey background in the gap between the end of track 1 and before track 2 and press Ctrl B and name track 2 and press enter. Now do all the same for the remaining music tracks. Once all the music tracks are named, we'll export them as separate named music tracks. Go to File, Export, Export Multiple. Select the folder where you want them exported. Leave all the settings as default and click export. You also have the option to name the artist if you like here. Otherwise, press OK and do the same for track 2 and all the remaining tracks.
Now go to the folder where you exported the music files to. Right click on a music file and select open with iTunes. Your track will now be imported into iTunes and should start to play. Do the same with the remaining music files. Finally, go to File, New and select New Playlist and name the Untitled Playlist. Go to the Recently Added Tracks. Select the newly created files and drag them to the New Playlist folder. Right click the folder, select Burn Playlist to CD, select Audio CD so that it can be played on any CD player or if you prefer select MP3 format instead. And that's it, all done. If you have any questions or comments, then please let me know. Thanks for watching and if you found this useful, then please subscribe to my channel.